our third anniversary now of 9-11 and the September 11th terrorist attacks. Um, so the town of Cromwell has annually held this event and I thank Scott and his team for organizing this and I thank the police department and the fire department and our state elected officials uh, and other dignitaries for being here as we have this reflection. Uh, so first I'd like to start our program by introducing the Cromwell Police Department Color Guard. National Anthem performed by Richard Donahue, the Brownwall Town Historian. from uh, some of our elected uh, officials and we'll close with a short prayer. Um, so I wanted to begin by uh, sharing that I was very young, uh, obviously, when 9-11 happened. I was in elementary school. Um, but as somebody who was raised in the Greek Orthodox Church, we have a, a phrase that we use, may their memory be eternal. And I find myself using that phrase uh, at events like this because of what it means. It means that we continue to remember their lives of the over 2,000 Americans that were lost that day. We remember their joy, we remember their children, we remember their families, we remember their hopes, we remember their dreams. And we keep those memories alive. So when we say, may their memory be eternal, we want to celebrate not how they died, but celebrate how they lived and celebrate their legacy. And it, in a morning like this, where people were having their first day of school, first day at a new job, first day for a lot of things, there was also a lot of last days. And we also have to memorialize and recognize our first responders that ran, drove, called in, and didn't ask why or how, but just went to work. So we memorialize, we remember, and we want all of their memories 
to be eternal. So today and every day, may their memory be eternal. And now I'm going to represent, uh, introduce State Representative Christy Kirk. said brief, but important. The North Tower, the South Tower, the Pentagon, and Pennsylvania. Those flight numbers were seemingly random when those innocent folks got up in the morning and got on the plane. Those who went to work, first responders who knew it would be another day and another tough day, but expected to come home. We stand here in this town every day under that flag, and we thank each of you in uniform and those that came before you. And we can't ever forget those folks. Every one of those folks died because they were an American. That's why we were attacked. It was our very values. And each one of those folks had a family. And we do, we have to remember those families today and tomorrow Please remember the 12th. The 12th was the only silver lining in this awful, tragic event. The 12th, we were one country. We were truly stepping in unison. Nobody cared if you had a red flag or a blue flag. Everybody's flag was red, white, and blue. Perhaps going forward, as we step further and further away from 9-11, we can make this a day of service in Cromwell. And perhaps we can memorialize everybody we lost by rolling up our sleeves and doing good to honor their memories. Thank you for being here. Stay safe. And remember our men and women in military around the world and all of our law enforcement and healthcare personnel each and every day. Thank you and God bless you. Senator Lesser. For those of us who are a little bit older than Mayor Demetriadis, it's still hard to imagine that it's been 23 years uh, since that bright, blue, beautiful September morning. A day not totally different uh, than today. And in the wake of the September 11th attacks, Americans enlisted in the armed forces uh, and record numbers to defend our country uh, to pursue the war on terror. Deployed for decades uh, in uh, hot spots across the world. Today, now though, our nation is at peace. There are no Americans uh, deployed uh, in combat anywhere in the world. But those who served in post 9 11 conflicts uh, are out there, uh, and many of them need resources. Uh, and it is our job as a country, as a state, as a community to provide support uh, for all of those who served us and kept our country free. We need to make sure that those folks have access to jobs, make sure that they have the health care that they've earned, that they're able to get the resources that they need through the VA, uh, and that we're doing our part in Connecticut to act, uh, connect them to housing. Uh, right next door in Rocky Hill right now, uh, we're building affordable housing for veterans. But we have so much more work to do. Uh, this year, on a bipartisan basis, we were able to, to provide for the first time all permanently and totally disabled veterans uh, with 100% tax break make sure that uh, they have uh, the support they need, that they're not uh, forced uh, into poverty uh, because of their service to our country. Uh, every day we get up, we have to be thankful for those who served us, keep our country free, provided or defended our Constitution, our way of life, uh, and our democratic institutions. We have more work to do on that front, uh, but uh, once again, we have to say thank you uh, to those who stepped up after one of those disgusting uh, days in of our country uh, and said we're going to keep our country. And now a short prayer from Pastor Doug Van Van Fusen. Would you join me in prayer? Oh Lord, help us never to forget the memory of those lost to the events of 9-11. They did not die in vain and we pray with genuine and sincere hearts that their legacies will go on to we think of the courageous souls of Flight 93 who fought against the hijackers to spare more lives, and in doing so, they paid the ultimate sacrifice. 
We pray for those who lost their lives to rescue, help, and save others, such as the firefighters, the police, the first responders, the civilians who offer a hand. May their bravery be remembered and not just a footnote in our history books. When this tragedy struck, we as a nation became, for a time, united as one. We were not Republicans, we were not Democrats, we were not Independents, we were Americans with a common purpose to care for one another. Somehow we've lost that over time, that ability to lay aside our differences and care for each other as a family. Let the lesson we learned on 9-11 be remembered and not lost. Help us not to lose sight over the time for those who passed, for those who innocently gave their lives help their stories to be told again and again, and may we feel compelled to share with those who were not even alive on 9-11, so that they too may come to admire and respect the fallen. We sincerely ask that the memories of those who've passed would not be erased from this age. As foundations we once thought were secure and they've been shaken, we are reminded of the illusion of security and the frailty of our existence here on Earth. Help us to keep focused on those things of greatest importance. Relationships. Relationship with God, with family, with friends, with neighbors, and with those around us. In commemorating this tragedy, we give you thanks for your presence in a time of need, and we seek to worship you in a spirit, in truth, guide our nation, and watch over us. Amen. So at 846, uh, which is in one minute, uh, we will uh, have a moment of silence uh, in recognition of a memorial of what happened uh, 23 years ago today. Uh, so if everyone would bow their head, and we will now absorb, observe that moment of silence. 